Are you ready to go, Bear? You ready for this? Alright, everybody. Me and Mr. Bear. Bear is washing his hands for some reason. But we are going to be doing something at the beginning of this survival episode. We are going to be jousting. Now, <laughs> who would have known in any future that we would be jousting in space engineers? Like, you'd assume that maybe medieval engineers this would happen first, but... Nah, we are, we're jousting in space engineers right now. And as you can see, this is so fucking cool. So this is Sir Elliot's, um, Sir Elliot's knights. And as you can see, there's like a fully fleshed heavy armor knight sitting on top of what looks like a horse. And a very, very long jousting stick. If that's what you call that, I'm not 100% sure. And it looks like we have a warhead on the end of the jousting stick as well. So this is going to be mighty impressive. I can't, <laughs> I can't believe someone built this. This is so fucking cool. Oh my gosh. Mr. Bear. This thing could be, <laughs> this is the weirdest fucking thing ever. All right, I'm gonna back up. Let's go for the first run, Bear. God bless whoever made these things. It's so incredible. Cue the epic music. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm in Game of Thrones right now. Oh, bear. Oh. <laughs> right to the head. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, beautiful. Dude, just destroyed, bear. Oh my god. I couldn't have planned that out any more perfectly than it happened. Just straight to your cockpit. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was beautiful. Bear, I have... I have some problems too. I have a whole pit of dead dogs right now. Alright, let's go, bear. Forget the dogs. Let's see if you can actually beat me this time. Where the fuck are you going? It's all about the reach, bear. It's all about the... Your jousting skills. <laughs> what are we doing, Bear? Come out. I'm gonna hit you with this thing. Ready? I missed. What was that? <laughs> he dodged me. That's not supposed to happen in jousting. Where'd you go? Oh, gotta spin it around. Oh, he's coming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this isn't- No! Fuck! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you may have won. Finish me off, bear. I could still win. Oh, there it is. There it is. I'm gonna javelin you. Oh shit! Oh, oh, that looks like a draw, oh, I bear. I can't get in front of you. Keep moving. I still couldn't do it. You are moving so fast, man. Try to run right over me if you have any control. Are you avoiding me on purpose? All right, so as I said, we've been up to a lot of stuff on this base. Now, one thing that still eludes me is what this is. 
So I don't know who built this, but they've sort of added it on to the slug, which is pretty much my main cargo vessel at the moment. And, oh, it looks like it has a sign, so that could actually help us. Sure, okay. Dear Luke, your ship seemed to be lacking some artwork, so I helped you out and built this for you. Thank you for all you've done. Your Martian, Matt the Martian. <laughs> um, oh no. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I guess. What kind of other artwork? Could he, uh, he get? He built me a penis ship. It's like a. a it just is too explicit. Oh my gosh! I don't. <laughs> I guess I could just be a little dirty-minded, and that could be something completely different. But, eh. Some artwork. <laughs> Math and Martian is. He's up to just a bunch of crazy stuff. So he's building penis ships. He's building. <laughs> He's building drill ships slash soccer fields. And he's also building down on the planet. He's building double landers in the last episode, if you guys didn't see that. Pretty pretty inspiring work, Matt the Martian. So, as we were talking about before, Maximus Prime, a different member of our faction, actually gave us a ship. And before, when he gave us this ship, you guys remember it in the last couple episodes, it used to be really small, but I tweaked it pretty heavily. And I added in three extra large car containers, two hydro tanks, and like probably eight oxygen generators. So it's probably at least four times the size as it was before. So it's actually quite extensive at the moment, everybody. I have these module thrusters on the front here, the Sage thrusters. So pretty much <laughs> a lot of our thorium, our supercomputer. So this is why you need thorium, everybody. One. Um, one of these modded thrusters cost me 20 supercomputers and 20 supercomputers is actually a good amount of thorium and you run out of it so fast so this is a pretty pretty cool looking ship I'm liking it um, I've added in a bunch of spots but hydro thrusters so on the side here you could just deck this entire side with hydro thrusters if I wanted to also on the top we have some room to put hydro thrusters so actually a good number of them. We could put probably close to 20 of them if we wanted to. We also have in this somewhat of a thruster bay. We're going to do the same that we did on the other side with the module thrusters just for our stopping power on the front. And we're also going to put some thrusters on the inside here like we did on the other side. So yeah, this place is actually shaping up to be quite nice. Um, it actually doesn't have any refineries in it. It has a couple assemblers, but... Um, I'm running close to my refinery cap with all the refineries I have on uh, on Earth and in um, on the tow ship, not the tow ship, but the slug. So we might want to decommission the slug and take out some of the various uh, refineries that are on that thing. Oh, rubber banding is still a serious issue, you guys. So here's the the front bridge quarters with, uh, this would be the front of the ship, so here's a couple different uh, console blocks if someone wanted to man some turrets. Also look outside and see all of our cool ships outside. Oh, that's a, that's a nice view. Look at that chair. That's a, that's a detailed chair. No mouse, though. We have evolved past the need for mouse. Maybe that's like some type of mouse pad that you use with your hand. I don't know. But I've noticed that. No mouses in the future. <laughs> I wonder when that happened. So we go downstairs, so we got a timer block right there, another another view, but we're actually parked on the opposite side. We can see an asteroid though, so we can see something. Uh, we go down here, we, we have actually the main cockpit, so this is the main cockpit right here. Get a good view of this ship, which I have named the Maximus Prime after Maximus Prime, the original builder of this ship. I've, I've merely uh, modded it very heavily. So yes, a very open cockpit design here, as you can see. A lot of glass work at the front. And we've actually looked through this before, but we're going to look through it once more. A couple of cryogen chambers. Actually, four of them. Along with the suit room right here. So you actually can't refill your oxygen or hydrogen. You can just jump in here if you want to do that. And yes, that would be about it for the Maximus Prime. I guess we could take a look inside, um, so I can show you guys all of what I put in there. So, as you can see, a bunch of unfinished gyroscopes. I need to figure out where those are. I've actually misplaced those, so um, 
as I said, around eight oxygen generators. We need to finish those module thrusters. Bunch of ion things we need to finish. How many jump drives does this beast have? Two jump drives, are we sure? Are we positive? Okay, two jump drives. I thought we had more than that for some reason. That's actually as many as my other ship has. We might want to add in some more. A bunch of small hidden reactors. Looks like we're good on those. So, I'd like to thank Maximus Prime for getting us this far with this thing. Uh, it probably would have taken me a lot longer to build it. All I did was add in a little bit of a frame along with some oxygen generators and pretty much the entire cargo capacity it has now. So, not bad, my friends. Well, it's all in your personal opinion, but in mine, it, it sort of looks like a caterpillar, almost. It's weird, because if, the, if it, the front was this end, it'd make more sense just, like, aesthetically. But the front is this end, so. It sort of reminds me of, like, a caterpillar or something. This would be the bear's den. A grizzly, just a lone grizzly, cries out, and I just start running, because bear is pissed off. <laughs> I've been using too much of the magnesium. So this thing is pretty beastly. Pretty darn beastly. So yeah, this is taking quite a while to show us our ship showcase. We have one more ship that I guess is worth checking out. Besides, we actually made a couple small additions to the, the platypus as well. Um, this would be our drill ship. Uh, it is pretty much just a modded version of the, the respawn ship. I've pretty much just added a couple, one extra large car container with a uh, hydro tank which is fully charged, so we actually have an extra propulsion system once we fill that cargo tank up with everything we drill with this large drill. So yes, I don't think we missed anything besides the soccer court. I mean, we've already seen that. We've tweaked the platypus a little bit as well. We've added in two large ions. This thing has been in a couple battles, but it is still my pride and joy, my baby. All heavy armor. 100% heavy armor. There's not a light armor block in this whole thing. Uh, he's the king of the shocker. Look at that. Look at those moves. No one's, no one's hitting a ball pass here. This is a button you call the wambulance on when Luke beats you. Matt the Martian uses it all the time. All the time. He's like, wham, wham, Luke's beating me. Oh, no one owns this. It's owned by the people. It's owned by the people. That's why it's damaged, and no one has repaired it, because it's owned by the people. Alright you guys, after days of preparation, the platypus is finally ready to go. She is fully stacked up with hydrogen. We're still saving it, just because, you know, why not? We don't want to be using it while we're just drifting here in space. Seen a lot of asteroids. Um, I'm not going to check a single one though, because we are going straight to Thorium. And we're checking out what's going on. Um, we have stacked this thing up with ammo. Let's check out all the long range ammo first. A good supply of it. Some of the turrets are up in the hundreds. No less than 30 in any given long range turret. And we also have the missile containers. So we got a couple missile launchers right here. So those are the stationary ones. We have about eight of them. We also have missile turrets that are, you know, pretty stacked up. Not that much. But these missile containers stack quite a bit. So 15 missile containers, I think, is like, I don't know how many shots, maybe 200 shots, something around there. Alrighty. Bear. Make your faction proud. For the Holy Galactic Empire. Wait, that's not us. What was I about? The Galactic Trade Emporium. Getting our name mixed up. You traitor. My bad. We will kick on our large hydro thrusters. As soon as we need those, some bitches. It's gonna take me a long time to stop there. 
So let's keep that in mind. See, if anybody shows up there, I'll probably just bump my beacon up so maybe it will sort of draw their attention away from you. Because you don't have a jump drive. So you're going to need a little bit of a escape route. But yeah, Bear's hard at work. He's about at a hundred and something kg, thousand. 300k, wow. Making some good progress. That is a very rudimentary uh, drill ship as well. Oh, we found someone. Someone's here. W. Hello. I'm gonna stay near you, bear. I don't know, they flew off. Oh god, I could use a camera so bad right now. Well, fine. Those guys just wanted to show up and shoot us a couple times and leave? What are you at now, bear? Oh my, that's a lot of thorium, it's a lot of green. Oh, someone's coming through the left side, other side of the asteroid. Rockets, they're coming from hella far away. Got incoming. Sure them. Stay behind the other side of the road. Go bear.
Oh my god, I don't know what they did. My hydro tanks are gone. No, they aren't. Are they? I don't know, there's something bouncing around in there. Hydro tank, hydro thrust. There's something bouncing around in there, dude, for real. Dude, I gotta get out of here. No! The ice just destroyed my ship! Oh my god, bear. I need to jump it out of here. Shit is still falling around in here. Dude, I'm fucked. Get out of there, bear. Get out of there with the thorium. Get out of there. <laughs> the platypus is gone. No, this is so fucked. I don't know what happened. Just one minute my hydro was there and the next ice made it all the way to where I was. Bear, they're gonna be back any second, man. I gotta get out of here. We're fucked. I don't have any resources. They took out my cargo container. <laughs> I'm just trying at this point, you guys. I'm gonna save this fucking ship. <laughs> no. We don't even have nearly enough for this. Oh god, they're gonna be back any second. Bear, just get out of there, man. Bear. I can't even look at the chat, man. I'm trying to save the ship. I'm grinding everything. I need to complete this. Oh, they're going to be back any second. Any fucking second, man. Oh, God. This is so bad. I'm trying to build a seat, but shit is going down. I need computers. There he is. The savior, fuck yes. Sultan to save the day. Oh my god, what a legend. Look at that little boot, he's got a little toe boot on it. What a legend. Wonder how he's gonna do this. He sees, <laughs> he sees the damage is real. 
You should see where I'm sitting, you guys. Oh my god, I'm just sitting in the middle of wreckage. Like, you can barely even see the seat that I'm sitting on right now. Sultan is coming in to save the day. This is going to be so tragic. This is it. Does the platypus live or die? You'll figure out in the next episode. No, I'm just kidding. You're going to figure out right now. <laughs> Hopefully. He's a legend. He's going to have to time it out. I'll tell him 16.5. You're a legend. Oh, there I am. <laughs> oh, come on, get it. Yes! 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 He's a fucking legend! Oh my god, thank the lord! <laughs> He's done it! He saved me! Just came out of nowhere and saved my ass. He's slowing me down now. Got four thrusters. Oh my god, Sultan, you are a lifesaver. Yes. Sultan, I've never been so excited for someone to latch onto my ship before. Oh, now Sultan's gonna give me the walk of shame and just to look around the immense damage that I'm not even sure how it really happened. Could have been those rocket launchers. Let's turn those hydros off. We need to save as much hydro as we can. Those would actually be my boosts. Or my turbo. Uh, the We shouldn't have gone out when it was this glitchy, everybody. So, we have, we have been saved, I think. The As you can see in the bottom right-hand corner, the meters per second is just all over the place. So, I hope we've been saved. <laughs> but, uh, we're taking Sultan with us if we aren't. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, everybody, I'll see you in one second when we figure out what we're doing. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. This has been a very stressful episode on my end, so all the encouragement is greatly appreciated, everybody. So I'll see you in one second. Alright, everybody. Today has been an eventful episode. <laughs> the platypus has just barely survived with the much-needed help from the Sultanator. So, my friends, we're we're gonna be up to we're gonna be up to some stuff. We're gonna have to really decide what we want to do with this thing. If we want to repair, if we want to scrap it down, maybe build something new, or if we want to convert it into a monument to the original Toe Empire. I do not know. But yes, my friends, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. This is Luke the Duke, and once again, if you enjoyed this video for some some masochistic reason you'd like to see pain done upon me then be sure and support space engineers my friends and support the mod that we we featured earlier in the episode back when we were back when we were still having fun and not losing losing our babies god damn it but at least we saved it you know we, we can still we can still work our way out of this my friends so i'll see you in the next episode once again everybody this is luke the duke and good night, and good luck.